Right, but there is a big game. So we're filming this on the Monday and England take on Wales on Tuesday. So uh, how are you feeling about Wales's coming? Because they can still qualify. Mm. Would being England be the pinnacle for Wales? Um, I think, and it's very hard to get momentum from the last two performances. I thought against USA second half, again, so the situation was he played, went with Dan James and Bale. So Dan James, athletic, dynamic, gets him behind. You know, Bale will now, will, you know, I think it's the first, the, the last two 90 minutes consecutively being the first two games he's played consecutively in one and a half, two years. So he's going to be a bit tired, a bit lethargic. So Kiefer Moore come on, the big man, tippy tippy football, and they played to their strengths and they got the equaliser. Bale got the penalty. Then he then, because of, I suppose he's looked at that game and thought Kiefer Moore has such an impact, he's got to start. But if you look at the way England played against Iran in the final third, the movement, the interchange, how dynamic they were, they cut Iran apart. Yeah, I know Iran was a different team when they played Wales. So for me, when you've played Ramsey, Bale, you know, and there wasn't much movement, especially with Kiefer Moore. So when you played Iran and you've got Kiefer Moore, Bale, Ramsey in the same team, the lack of you know, dynamism in the team with the younger legs, I think that showed with the heat and I think it got to him and I think that the argument would be going into this Wales game and sorry, into the England game, do you play more Bale Ramsey in the same side against a dynamic England side? You have to play Bale. The big question is, will he go for Brennan Johnson, Dan James and have dynamic young players and get after England or will he go for front to back Kiefer Moore with Bale get the knockdowns Bale will play I think the big question is will he play Ramsey but I can't see he's getting anything what do you think of the criticism Ramsey's been getting um, listen he's this tournament has probably come two or three years too late for a Ramsey and a Bale you know Bale 110 caps most cap play for Wales incredible. they did their best in Euro, Euros didn't they yeah, 2016, yeah. semi-final, that lost was, to Portugal. Yeah. You know, that was when they were right yeah, on top. Right on top. Game, but six years ago, you know I mean? yeah, and these players had injuries, yeah. you know, they're not playing as much. Mm. If Wales get anything out of England tomorrow, it will be one of the biggest shocks. It'd be like Saudi Arabia beating Argentina. Argentina yeah. I really do. Because you look at the bench, you look at the... You know the squad they've got and the players are bringing on, and they brought a boy on from Portsmouth. Morocco yeah. will be in Belgium. Yeah, Belgium, it, and Belgium are number two in the world. Correct. It'll be like that, and Wales fans won't like to hear that, but it would be. But Robert Page, I think he's done amazing to get there, and they've got some very good players. And unfortunately, I I got hammered on social media for saying it's only Iran. You know, I got hammered. Well, know. that was a bad statement. It was a bad statement. <laughs> it's one of those statements, the emotions. So we've all made bad statements. We've all made bad, we've all made yeah. bad decisions. And, <laughs> <laughs> haven't we? So, yeah. So, again, um, I can't see us getting anything out of England. So, I think it'd be one of the biggest shocks if Wales beat England. Do you think they've got a chance, Sam? Are you giving Wales hope? Well, I mean, on the way the World Cup's going, I mean, you know, Japan beat Germany and then... Japan lose to Costa Rica. Goalkeeper. Who, who, who never who never had a one shot. A shot at goal. Yeah. Like you I mean, so anything can happen in in the in this this one off these one off games, like you I mean. So Saudi Arabia be dancing. So, you know, it's it's unlikely, I think. And uh, and I think and I think because England have had a, a kick up the backside by they'll be sharp, they'll be on it. And it, and it's in its yeah. like we're we're playing Wales. You know, and it's, it's that video. It's, Do you remember the you video know, the of the Euros real, when the, the England I mean? England boys with the Welsh boys after England lost to Iceland? Oh, yes. the video. Yes. So if I was in that dress room, listen, my, the, I'm sure England. Sam as well when, yeah. when he was manager. Hey, my goalkeeping coach was yeah. on that video. Oh, was he? Martin Margerson, yeah. Oh, was he? What are you <laughs> doing here, by the way? I was loving it. Go yeah. on, Wales. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of your team <laughs> I bet you'd have been right in the middle of that by yeah, the way would have been. Um, in terms of your team Sam for England taking on Wales you've got five you're making five changes yeah. to well, the team against that. just to brave that take just oh, to yeah. wind, I'm granted. just doing it to wind Robbie up uh, Good no stuff. I'm not really I, this your, is just me must be hard bringing in 100 yeah. million pound drag readers. it's just me how many, how many years must are you going to keep saying 100 million pounds I'm just saying it that's because it's fact it's not his fault no, no it's not I didn't say it not was. his fault it's no. a fact Alba, how so, many years are you going to... Say, are we going to be five years down say, the line? You're still so, going to say that. It must be hard for Gareth Southgate to, to bring on Rashford then. Okay. You know? And Rashford would, would move for about 78 million, wouldn't he? 
Mm. Must be hard to bring bring in the best. Well, Eighty young million in the pound world. Harry Maguire must be hard. We don't must, say that, yeah, do we? Yeah, okay. It must be hard bringing on forty million Calvin Phillips. <laughs> Bargain. It's not hard. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So it must be great. It must be great. So yeah, my change. My changes are, like I said, I've been promoting the squad since before we started the World Cup on the best ever, best ever squad we've ever had, probably ever had. But even after, depth. even after England it, couldn't beat Italy at home in it, the Euro well, final. Well, yeah, well, yeah, but, but you like, can't help it, can you? Well, I've that, never heard so much nonsense. But, but, England were unlucky. You've no, no, they weren't the unlucky. Ta- just what? like I said, I think they, they they needed to. I mean, Italy didn't even qualify for the World Cup, but now the lads have got. It, there's never a better time with the experience they've had, Robbie. That's but what I'm it, saying. Yeah. They've had it, they had the World Cup, then they've had the Euros, the final. This is just the backroom staff and the manager as well. Gaining experience because Gareth had no no experience as a manager when he got the job, so now he's learnt over a period of time actually on what the job entails and what it does. The players should have learned that what needed what's needed to be done. Now they've reached the semi final and the final of the Euros. And know they should know what's needed to be done. So all together it's ready. And if they don't win it now, I don't think they ever will. No, I think they've got a chance. So yeah. they've got to win it now, and they've got to use the squad. You've got to use the tactics. They've got to do whatever it needs to take, and and you, you can't. Just go out and play a game how you want to play against this opposition. You can go out and play a different way against different opposition to make sure you win. It's why Didier Deschamps won the, won all the time because he play really defensive against Belgium and won one nil. How did he win one nil? They scored off a corner. Mm. So did they have many shots at goal? No. Uh, did the opposition have any shots at goal? Belgium? They just beat Brazil. Nah. He just sat there, soaked it all up, went bang. But if he beats Wales one now for set piece, he'll get hammered against Southgate. Matt said he's won. They qualified. Yeah, but it's typical media hammer. If they win, he'll get hammered. Well, What's your team anyway? So well, he's... mine's Trent Alexander right back. So you're now. taking Wales for granted? No, this well, is a quality are. team. Well, yes. well Trent Alexander is well, one of the best right backs in the country. Well. You well, think he's a bad right back, do you? No, I don't know. No, <laughs> Why are you getting aggressive for? You're just trying to line up again. <laughs> I, I still got Stones and Maguire. I still got uh, Trippier at left back, and I've got um, what got here now? You've got Bellingham, Rice, and then you're bringing in Foden. Yeah. And then up front, Saka, Wilson, and Grealish. You're bringing in Wilson. You're bringing in Grealish. And yeah, and I'm playing game. Foden in the three. I'm just leaving Rice sat in front of the the back two, back four, and having them either side, Bellingham and, and Foden. So you're leaving the England three. captain out against Wales, just take the mick out of Wales. No, I'm good. Well, you're right. the England captain out. Well, that. Well, who's who's I think captain? He, well, I don't think. He, Are you making captain? Well, who am I making captain? Harry Maguire. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, he was man. He was man of the match Wait, again well. in the US. So you making Harry Maguire captain? If I'm looking. Well, you at am Harry Maguire every week on your pod. I, I do. <laughs> Sam doesn't, to be fair. Sam does. Sam has stuck up for Harry, well, Sam, well, Harry Maguire more than anybody Harry I know. Should be captain of England? I mean, I don't think Harry Maguire should be playing, but... Well, Sam was, picked he was, him as captain. He was, so man, he was, man, of the ma- he was man of the match so in the USA Sam. game. I would never disagree with Sam. <laughs> I'm not that silly. She's I'm entitled that silly. to you. entitled to your opinion. Yeah. Yes. Of course um, we are. That's why we're here. Yes. So you're just disrespecting Wales. Tell you what, you play with No, I'm disrespecting Wales. £100 million Jack Grealish. Top yeah. player at Manchester City, Foden. Why did you keep yeah, mentioning Trent, this transfer? Trent thing? Alexander Arnold. I've never one known of the best anyone full like you ever. Full, full backs, so you're disrespecting Wales. I tell you what, we'll make five changes. To Wales, if you it? get beat, they you're just, out of the World they just Cup. Drew, though. What? They if you just, get beat five, you're out of the World Cup. They're right? not necessarily, no, they're not. Well, they will if, the, if, US, if, if USA, if, if Iran or USA win and Wales beat England four by or five, you're out. Okay, by four or five. By playing that team. You why just why would I be able to play playing that team? Well, because you've made five changes. Because, because you're, you're thinking, oh, it's only Wales. So no, thinking, no. Well, you're no. Right. I'm basing it on the performance of the team against USA, not on Wales. I'm basing it on the performance of that team on there. So you get that. You, you're ma- the manager the manager that gives that performance. What team would you pick then? What's yours? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Have you missed me? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you know what? <laughs> Chris Sutton's an absolute saint working with you every week. I bet you like this every it's, week. It's great, he's though. A, he's it's, a it's, saint. It's great. Football's about opinion and debate, and we love it. Passion. We do. Mm. We do. Man. Mind right, you, I'm sitting here doing it. Probably, if I was sat there now, I probably wouldn't do it. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably bottle it. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, the rest of the time, go, you can't. Sammy Lee would go, what are you <laughs> thinking <laughs> about, you idiot? You are stupid. Sit down there and have a drink and get your head together. Make sure you pick Harry Kane. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's, that's what Sammy Lee would do, I'll tell you that now. Right, I want two predictions from you both. Um, so two things that are going to happen one. in the game. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One, three, and one. Some, a, a scorer, a card, or something that's going to happen. Oh, a card, no cards, no. No. So Sam's going 3-1. Just to sort of Robbie, Harry Kane will score. So yeah. 3 1, Harry Kane to score. Okay, I'd go yours? 2 0 England. If I'm Harry Kane, I'm sure he wants to play. So I'd go Harry Kane, 2 0. Oh, he'll want to play, there's no doubt about yeah. that. And if I'm in captain, I'd be saying, listen, Gaff, I want to play. Oh, well, I'm looking at your stats, you know. Listen, Robbie, Harry Kane's going to play. Oh, that is... It's my opinion, just me as a manager, yeah. just what I'm sitting watching. All so you'd pick him now? There is no I've doubt. I've convinced you. No, to I'm pick not him. picking him. I'm no, just, you just, I'm saying. You've just bottled it. No, 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 no I'm saying that Gareth will pick him. I'm absolutely convinced Gareth will pick up. You've changed your mind in that. No, I haven't changed your mind. To play That's my team. That's why. I thought you were a strong manager. I did that team two two days ago, so I haven't changed it. Oh. When did you do your team? <laughs> Who's Wales going to play? All right. <laughs> <laughs>